Hi folks and welcome back. Um, I'm down in Suffolk today uh, on, a, on a bike trip with, with Luke Hippy Swift. Um, we're, uh, yeah, well we're doing a big loop. Where are we, where are we headed? Uh, we're doing a loop of Suffolk, which is a county in the United Kingdom in which I live. Um, it basically takes you through a historic route, circling through the centre of Suffolk, over to the coast and back down, looking at all the historical and well, really renowned, beautiful places around here. Yeah, I really look forward to this trip. We've been planning it quite a while now and yeah. things have gotten away and we're on the road now, so yeah. We're just at Woodbridge. We've done about 12 miles already, mostly on uh, small, small lanes, small roads. Um, and we're gonna ride along the side of the river now for a bit. We're gonna stop for fish and chips in a couple of miles time, which I'm really looking forward to, starting to get quite hungry now. Um, and then we're gonna head on up towards, uh, towards Halesworth, where we'll start to look for a, a place to camp for the night. Um, just on the other side of the estuary here, um, you might just see a raised bit of land behind me with some trees. Behind that is the ancient burial site at Sutton Hoo. It's a Saxon burial mound, very famous. Um, there's a film made recently about it called The Dig. Um, well worth a watch. Somewhere I haven't been, but it's on my, on my list of places to visit. Yeah, fascinating. There's just so much history around here. I'm riding a new bike. I, uh, <laughs> I've been riding the same old Kona mountain bike since the late 1990s. And um, I decided to, to treat myself to an upgrade a couple of months ago. It's the first time I've, I've done a big ride on it and I bought it for this, you know, so I bought it as a kind of, you know, an expedition adventure bike really. And uh, the difference is amazing. Being a bigger bike, you know, wheels are bigger now than they were in the 90s. And, and it's just, the gearing is all different and it's just, it, it's kind of floats. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, and it's just, you know, taking in the hills really well. Yeah, loving it. Really nice and comfortable.
We just stopped in the town of Framlingham and uh, had a good look around the castle and um, stopped for a well, well needed, well earned uh, sneaky pint. And uh, we're just, just now heading off towards uh, Halesworth where we're hoping to stop for the night. Um, it's about 15 miles to go um, and we've only got two hours of daylight left. So we, we do need to, to press on. Um, we're just gonna get our heads down and, and plow into it, get those, get those miles um, under our wheels and um, find, a, find a place to, to camp for the night. Well, we've um, arrived at where we're going to camp for the night. Um, it's a, a small woodland just outside Halesworth that Luke knew, knew about. He, he used to come and do all sorts of camps and stuff over here. There's a relic of uh, the uh, former glory of this camp there. There's an old wall and a, the remains of a, a table that, that Luke had built just down there. Yeah, we're going uh, to get things set up because the sun has actually set. We've just got residual light um, just now. So. Um, we're going to get ourselves set up, gather some firewood uh, together so we can have a nice fire this evening, keep warm and cook and stuff. Tarp and bivy tonight, should be good. Well, that's my home from home all set up. I've got my snug pack Stratosphere bivy. Um, it's really comfortable. Those hoops just give you that extra headroom. Um, I stop it all flopping on your face, which is nice. Got my chair and I've set my tarp up in a plow point configuration. So there's loads of cover. And uh, yeah, should be just, just the job. And then Luke is setting up just over here, got his tarp in a lean-to and he's going to have his bivy bag and that just down here. It is pretty much completely dark now, um, <laughs> still got to get firewood so I'm going to um, trundle off and, and pick up whatever I can that's sort of caught up. There's loads about. Um, I don't really want to <laughs> pinch these logs off, um, off Luke's uh, wall here because it's um it's actually creating quite quite a nice shield we're gonna have a fire here there are houses across the fields you can see the lights of them and um obviously we don't want to draw attention to us being here so uh 
those logs are doing a good job of just blocking the light from the fire, which is good. So yeah, I'll go and grab, grab some wood and um, we'll, get a, we'll get a fire on the go. Right, I'm going to get the fire lit. I'm just going to use some of this Hamero Tinder card. Uh, it's really lightweight, which is why I bought it. It's just packs down. It's just you know, it's like card, so it's ideal for this sort of thing. We're going to have some steaks for dinner. I've got uh, two ribeyes here. There we go. You all know how I like my steak. <laughs> uh, Luke likes his a little bit more uh, cooked, but um, I can just put his on um, before I put mine on and that'll be, that'll be fine. So I'll get the steaks on to warm first. Ooh, that's a zingy one. What flavour is that? It's hop, skip, and juicy flavour. <laughs> <laughs> Hazy pale ale. It's gonna be me all night long, isn't it? I'm gonna be yeah. <laughs> shooting bolt up right in the middle of the night. Ah! <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's hard to shake that once it starts. Yeah. 
<laughs> Train. Ah, yeah, that is hot. Got our steak and mashed dinners, and then we're gonna have some of this liberation sauce here from the steak detective. This is steak sauce. Yeah, that's gonna be all over mine, that's for sure. Do you wanna try just a little bit before you commit to full? <laughs> yeah, just lightly, mate, that's fine. Just a bit of lightly over the steak. Anything, yeah. There you go, mate. Lovely job. There's plenty more in the bottle. There you go, man. Thank you, dude. All right. Had a really nice dinner. That steak was spot on. The sauce on it was gorgeous. <laughs> really good. Fill, filled us up nicely. Burnt uh, quite a few calories today. And just, uh, yeah, it's just nice to, to have a good big filling dinner. Yeah, we've, um, we've sat about and had a couple of beers and, and chatted around the fire. It's been really nice. And um, I've just got some, uh, some water on for, for a hot chocolate before before bed yeah it's been just a fantastic day it's been tough um you know there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of hills in <laughs> in suffolk sneaky hills that i didn't realize were there um yeah it's just been constantly up and down and uh yeah some of them uphills have been real real leg burners for sure but fun and uh fantastic weather fantastic uh things to see you know along along the way frambling was just gorgeous that castle is amazing yeah, absolutely stunning, and the, and the estuary there on the River Deben, where, where we were earlier, where, I, where, where we uh, 
uh, well, we didn't start from there. We started tw uh, 12 miles further down, but um, at, uh, name's gone out of my head, Woodbridge. Nathan. Nathan. Wood Woodbridge where the... Oh no, Woodbridge. Woodbridge, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Woodbridge. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, just, just lovely. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, very excited about tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna head across to Southwold, um, and uh, and then down through Dunwich and all the way down the down the coastal route there. Um, gonna see some amazing things tomorrow. Yeah, and just uh, just be on the coast there, which would be absolutely lovely. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah, a good day. Yeah, gonna have this hot chocolate then, and uh, turn in for the night. Good night. Good night, folks. Sleep tight. Morning folks, I um, had a really good night's sleep. I was warm and toasty. Uh, that's the bonus about a bivy bag. Um, you know, they, they trap that warm air, warm air around you and keep you warm. None of that cold face uh, <laughs> malarkey. Yeah, it was, um, it was a good night's sleep. My, my mat had gone down a little bit overnight, but not enough that I touched the ground. So yeah, I was comfortable. Woke up to another absolutely stunning morning. No clouds that I can see. Sun's shining through the trees. Absolutely gorgeous. Just having a, a cup of coffee. I got sent some, uh, some new coffees um, in the post. They just arrived the, the day before yesterday. Um, and absolutely delicious it is from uh, Ohio in the States. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Much appreciated. Um, I've got some breakfast on the go. I'm just gonna have some, some porridge. Um, I think I've shown you these before. I just, um, I buy those porridge pots that you can get from the supermarket you know the ones that you just pour uh, boiling water in but rather than carrying the the bulky um, you know plastic tubs that they come in I just pour them into a, a mylar foil bag with a ziplock top um, and uh, you know I put two of them in there I know that I need to add 340 mils of water and it's just quick and easy and um, and the rubbish is is small you know it rolls up and it's it's easy to pack out yeah works well and they've got the milk in already, so there's everything in there, you just have to add water. Yeah, so I'm gonna have, have some porridge for my breakfast, and then um, we're gonna think about getting things packed away here, getting the, the bikes loaded back up again, and hitting the road again, heading over towards Southwold and the sea. Yeah, can't wait.